this is now when I'm going to add a composite of color and texture onto my line art, right? Now, I, I drag, dragged and dropped that in from something I downloaded online, so it comes in as a smart object. First thing I want to do is right-click and rasterize that smart object after I've stretched it to be big enough. Once I've rasterized it, I can also go to image adjustments and I can change it. I can play with its lightness or darkness. I'm going to make this a little bit darker, but I'm not going to make it so dark that I lose pixel content. I can also play with some things we'll, we'll do a lot with assignment one, playing with the color. I can play with its hue. If I don't want it to be quite so blue, I can desaturate it a little bit. And I can shift it from blue to purple or green. Maybe about there. And then I can even do things like add gradations on layers on top of it. So I'm going to make a new layer with this little post-it kind of plus sign within the layer window next to the trash. And that creates a new blank layer. And I'm going to use underneath the eraser, there's something called the gradient tool. I'm going to use that. You don't have to do this. These are just options you have. My old laptop has an older version of Photoshop. You have 2022. This is 2021. But these are kind of the old default gradations that you can modify from. I'm just going to use the simple purple to orange, put that on, and then I'm, I can stretch that out maybe a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to use opacity to fade that in, because I kind of like how that looks. I can also use blending or layer, uh, let's see, layer blending modes. Instead of, I can use multiply, you can see what that does. I can try these different ways. This one's kind of cool. Looks better on my screen than it looks on the projector with the fluorescence. But So now I've got kind of two different colored layers. One that's at 49% opacity. And I'm going to merge those two together. I'm going to hold down shift, select them both, and then say layer, merge layers. And the shortcut for that is command E. So now it's one normal layer that looks that way, which looks different than either one individually looked. So that's a way of kind of transforming just with color. Now that I have that, I'm going to go back to my combined layer here, use my magic wand, make sure contiguous is unchecked, and I'm going to click on the empty space. Okay, so the empty space is selecting everything except my black pixels. Now I'm going to swap that selection. This is a really handy tool because if I try to select the black pixels directly, it might miss the gray pixels on the edges of the black pixels. So to swap it, I go up to select and I say inverse. And it's a very subtle difference, but now it's selecting the pixels inside the empty space instead of the empty space itself. Now I'm going to move that selection onto my new layer. And I'm not going to delete. Instead, I'm going to copy. I'm going to hit Command-J, duplicate what's in my selection. And that will give me my image cut out of that kind of texture with the gradation I built. I know it's a lot. Then I can put my black line behind it, and I can do things like Play with the opacity on top of my black lines. Or I can just, just leave it at 100%, which I think I will. Now if I turn on my white background, you can see what it looks like with the color effects versus what it looks like with just black line. And if you think that that's good, maybe you want to add that as a version. right? Maybe I want to add a blood splatter to it. And I said you couldn't create your own pixels. So instead of just painting some blood splatter, which would be pretty easy, let me just look up blood splatter really quick. So now in Pixabay, I found a nice image of just random blood splatter. I'm going to download that. Goes to my downloads folder. Going to drag and drop that into my exercise one folder. It's pretty big. 
The image is called burglary. That's kind of terrifying. Drag and drop that. Stretch it where I want it. I don't need it to cover my image this time. I just want it to kind of randomly splatter on top of my image. Hit return. It's still a smart object. So I can rasterize it. And now I'm going to use my magic wand, contiguous turned off, and just select the red in that image. And then just duplicate that, Command J. <clears throat> and now I have blood splatter. <coughs> and maybe I like it just like that. Or what I can do is I can select the empty space around this, just like I did to cut it out originally. Say select inverse, go to my blood splatter layer, and then Command J. So I just have blood splatter on the image within the image, right? And by doing Command-J, it puts it on different layers. If this doesn't make sense now, it will make sense later in the semester. But then I can fade out different layers and treat them differently. Like maybe I have just little hints of blood splatter behind it. But where it overlaps the image, it's that really solid red. And I like that. kind of looks like it's a crime scene. So let me go ahead and save that, but this time I'm going to save as a copy. But if I do this as a JPEG, it's going to overwrite the, the one I already saved with this name, right? So whenever you add color or do a variation, you want to also add that descriptor. So I'm just going to call this my exercise one color copy. Okay, and then I'm going to post that. Save it. Make sure you have it. There it is. This is an online format, not a working format, so I call it orange. And so these are the three files that matter, that combine everything. And I can always go back to my PSD and rebuild all of these different types. And then I can post it to Canvas. And then we'll do our presentation critiques. And we're Done with our first exercise, which always takes longer than I think, but that's just because we're getting used to everything. There is nothing that's faster about digital art. It just gives us so many more options. So I'm going to call this my color final. And what am I missing? I'm missing the name of the book. So I'm going to make sure that that's there. The Outsiders. It's also a movie with Tom Cruise, I think uh, Patrick Swayze. It's a real time capsule of a movie. I think I saw it in eighth grade. All right. Post it. And then we can start sharing our work. That is the full process. I'll stop that.